Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're going to be talking about why I disappeared over the past week or so and why DHL absolutely destroyed my bloody computer. Remember to like my video if you do enjoy my content and subscribe if you'd like to see more survival gaming content in the future. There is a Patreon in the description if you would like to support the channel. So as most of you know who are part of the Discord I've been putting announcements out to because I haven't really put any videos out because I haven't really been up to it recently. Because of all the stuff that's been going on, my nan passed away, we've been dealing with all of the logistics, with sorting out the funeral, etc., sorting out all the paperwork. My mum has been doing a massive amount of work with that, it's been absolutely insane. I've been trying to help her out where I can. We've been waiting for my computer to turn up from Spain, there was a massive cost involved in getting it over the border with taxes and duties, I had to throw 600 quid at it, just to get it out of actual customs to get it delivered to my house. Now, what happened when it actually got here was like uh, it was a complete and utter disaster. Like I opened the box and saw just saw the contents of in what was inside the box. And like I almost just broke down there and then I was just completely and utterly shocked. Now, I'd been waiting for the computer to turn up to be able to start continuing to do more content and get all that stuff out there and start doing more on Myth of Empires and get more guides out there, etc. So I was really excited that my computer was finally going to turn up even after the massive amount of costs that I had previously. But it's give and take of having to move stuff over and uh, there was a lot of stuff going on. I may get the customs charges back because it was my personal property that was owned and they all thought that it was actual a computer that I bought in Spain and brought it over. So all the stress of getting like moving from Spain to England because it wasn't a, like a choice. It was a choice move, but it was more like a necessity because obviously losing the job in December, I wasn't able to afford to pay the rent over there by myself. So I had to come back to the UK for a little while, get my head together, get stuff sorted, spend some time with the family, meet up with some old friends and stuff that I have over here. And it was supposed to be better, but it ended up being dog shite. So I opened this box and all of the protective stuff. I'd taken like the graphics card out of the computer. I'd taken the CPU fan off of the computer and i'd done, done all that stuff i had all this stuff corrected put in like protective cases and all this sort of stuff covered it in bubble wrap and in uh like a uh, moving cloth and stuff like that to sort of make sure that nothing would happen to any of it but what had happened was the customs people wanted to check what was in the box and check all of the stuff that was in it because i had my camera I had my microphone my speakers i had the tower I had all this different stuff in these boxes. And as you can tell by my voice, I've like, uh, I mean, it's monotonous anyway, but I've been ill as hell for the past couple of weeks, getting back to England, coming out of the airport, and then just hitting like minus two degrees Celsius at five o'clock in the morning, murdered me waiting for a damn train. So after all that, I've been doing all this with illness and my nose is blocked, and I've got a bloody cough and oh, it's just everything on top of everything. So I, I stayed away for a little while. So I opened up the box and all of these things that are inside were no longer covered the tower wasn't covered my keyboard wasn't covered the mouse wasn't covered none of the parts they'd opened up the glass parts of the tower and just stuck my graphics card and a cpu fan inside the tower and it was just all over the place and there was no bubble wrap there was no protective lining on there there was no polystyrene around anything and they just pulled everything out checked everything to see what was in there and just shoved it all back in the bloody box so then the computer got delivered and the legs of the tower were smashed off. One side of the uh, actual glass was smashed. The CPU fan had been rattling around inside there with the, uh, the graphics card jumping up and down. And we know right now that graphics cards are not in a good place to try and buy a new one. Even the old generation ones are costing like an arm and a leg and I just don't have that kind of money to pay for it. So I, I called him up and I said, look, this is what's happened. What the hell is this? I lost my mind a little bit. The guy was really helpful in the DHL and he said, look, I have to go to the customs people because they're the ones that had opened up the box, pulled everything out, put it back in and then resell the tapes it all together with their customs tape, which, yes, the box had a load of customs tape all around it. And I went to the customs people and the customs people said it's the fault of DHL for not moving the box properly. So there's been a lot of back and forth there. I've been arguing with them and back and forth. I spoke to someone on the Discord who came up and said, look, you could do this, this, this and this. They set me out what I needed to do in line. So I spoke to the ombudsman and I spoke to a lot of different people and I got the email sent out to the right people and I got the paper trail set up and I spoke to DHL again who said my insurance that I paid a hell of a lot of bloody money for to get the computer over safe and if something did happen to the computer then it was covered is no longer covered by DHL because the customs people were the ones that opened it up and fucked everything up. Excuse my French. 
So then I went back to the customs people. It's just been going backwards and forwards. Now there's the standard liability insurance, which is like a maximum of like five hundred pounds that they can give me for my very expensive computer with all my RTX graphics card and the i9 CPU and all this stuff that's going on. That had I had a really really good computer that I built up over years, so it's not like something that I was able to just buy on finance a long time ago. I, I actually worked and got it piece by piece and upgraded piece by piece as much as I could. And it was, the I mean, it was my baby. Like, uh, it was what I was doing to make money for the job, for the YouTube, so I could pay the bills, etc., and pay for the child support and stuff. And then it just turned up to my house completely smashed. I tried to, like, I opened everything up, and I got everything cleaned out, and I cleaned all the stuff, the glass that was sitting around inside the box. My camera is dead the camera has been smashed to pieces. My graphics card was like uh, all ripped up on the top. There were scratches all over it. Where that and the CPU fan had made love inside of my tower and the moving. The legs were gone off the bottom of the bloody tower. As I said earlier, the glass was smashed. My speakers were just left there. One of my bloody Edifier studio monitors has got a hole in the actual speaker. So it's just like, uh, I mean, everything that has been happening over the past couple of months has sort of come to a climax where... I just it just the last straw I almost gave up on like making YouTube videos I was trying to make the YouTubes on a MacBook and I was trying to sort of do the updates and stuff and the, there was huge amounts of support I want to thank you guys for that on the videos there's a lot of likes there's a lot of views on there and I want to thank you all for actually like still supporting me through this actual time but I'm no longer able to play the games that I want to play to make guides on I really need to get a new computer sorted out as quickly as possible because even if I do go into the fight with DHL and the customs people, this could take months for that to be sorted. So I'll still have to wait a long time for that to get going. So I need to find a way to get a computer sorted to be able to continue on making the, the content and playing the games and stuff. It's just, and the, um, the, oh man, it's just the cost of the graphics cards and stuff. And it's just all this stress is not bloody needed when you're in the middle of sorting out your nan's bloody funeral. Just been stupidly stressful. But I just wanted to keep you guys updated on like the horror story that is my life over the past couple of months where no luck has been happening. But I'm going to start buying lottery tickets because one day this shit's going to change and karma's just going to be like, yep, you, you do need a win. Here's a couple hundred million quid to put in your bank account and now you're sorted for the rest of your life. But knowing my luck, that's never going to bloody happen. But I'm still in the process of getting this, like the compensation sorted out. Again, this could take months for that to be sorted out. So I do need to find a way to get a computer. If you guys know of any sort of ways, let me know down in the comments to sort, like to sort of get a computer. So even if I have to try and get it on finance, but I've got no credit score because I haven't been in England for years. And it's just like an absolute bloody nightmare on top of a nightmare with cold sweats right now. It's just, I just, I just I'm running out of ideas. So if anyone can help me out with that, let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to check those out. I'm going to continue to make the content on survival gaming updates, new games that are coming out, let you know what's coming out, what's good, what's not good, what looks better, what doesn't look great. And sort of we'll start doing some other content out there. And hopefully you guys will be able to continue supporting me through this little bit of time until I can get myself sorted. I do want the videos to be out there for you guys. And I do want to sort of, it's not that I'm stopping playing the games that i'm playing it's just that i physically can't right now i've been using the geforce now to try and get certain games up and running so i can get that recorded on the macbook because obviously a macbook is not made for gaming it's made for productivity stuff and a lot of these things are not sort of in things like myth of myth of empires aren't on geforce now it was but it's been cancelled since it's been pulled down with the dmca so that's no longer available on geforce now so i can't do that but if there's any other games you'd like to see content on again please let me know down below and I'll try and get that on GeForce now. We can get that going. I can get guides going for different games and different things that are coming out. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for all of their kind words in the Discord, everything that's been going on and all the DMs I've been getting. The support has been absolutely fantastic. So I want to really, really thank all of you for that. Hopefully I can get this sorted out soon. Get it sorted out, get a new computer set up, get back into gaming, get back into what I enjoy most in life and get back into the stream of things. Anyway, that's my bitching moment over. That's what's been happening over the past couple of weeks, and that's why there's been no content over the past week and a half because I just, or I just, I was ready to give up. I was ready to just be like, okay, this is just not going to work anymore. But I can't do that. It's not in my personality. I have to push forward. I had a little bit of a downer moment, a little bit of a pushback on my personality, but we're going to be getting back to it, and we're going to be sorting stuff out. 
So I want to thank you all for watching. Look forward to more survival gaming content updates and sort of uh, new releases that are coming out, etc. There might be a few other things on the channel. Might do a little bit of RimWorld stuff. I've been playing a little bit of RimWorld to like or sort of ease my addiction to gaming at the moment. So please let me know down below if there's anything you'd be interested in. Remember to like the video if you do enjoy my content. Make sure to subscribe for more survival gaming content that is going to be coming very soon. And if you'd like to support myself on the channel, we do have a Patreon in the description. Again, thank you all for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. Local chat scams.